What's up guys, Mike from ARG here to teach you guys all about Premier Level Yu-Gi-Oh! Because let's face it, whether you've been playing with friends, at your local game store, or heck, even on Dueling Network or Dev Pro, you might have realized by now that you're a pretty good player. And it's time to put those skills to the test. So let me introduce you to the world of the ARG Circuit Series. The Circuit Series is the premier place to play if you want to up your game. There are competitions that take place across the span of an entire weekend. Here, players are competing against the best in the game for the prestige of making top cut, winning great prizes. In addition, players are playing for their spot in the ARG Players Championship, as well as earning points for the ARG National Championship, which are held for three days over the summer. These aren't just flashy event titles to put under your belt, because these events have upped prize support and specialty prizes like getting your own ARG token. The National Championship itself supports a $25,000 prize pool alone. So, now you're signed up for a Circuit Series event. What do you gotta do next? Let me tell you. Now, I encourage you to get there early Saturday morning to fill out both your registration form and your deck list for the event. Now, if you're not a morning person, much as myself, you can always pre-register at AlterRealityGames.com and by doing so, you get a free playmat. Who doesn't love free playmats? However, most Circuit Series have a player cap due to restrictions of the venue, so if you really want to attend, you should register in advance. So now you're all signed up, you're ready to go to a circuit series, but there may be a few things you need to know, and while we can't spend our time telling you all of them, there are those that can help you at any time, at any place, at any circuit series. Oh God. The judge staff. The judges are knowledgeable and helpful representatives of the game here to assist you in your weekend. From card rulings, the food and bathroom locations, if you've got a question, they've got an answer. And while the judge and event staff is there to help you with any problems, you should keep the following in mind. While games online or with friends may be more laid back, I'm going to tune these two, and I'm going to synchro summon and Okay. And I'm going to answer battle, please. Right, that's dark. Uh, can I take that back? All right, cool. Um, I'm going to make our mates instead. Uh, battle phase, attack. Right, cool. There are no take backs at a circuit series. And while playing with friends may be more casual experience, rounds at a circuit series are timed. And nobody wants to get a tie due to end of round procedures, because it's basically as bad as a loss. And while we don't expect you to be the flash when you're playing, we do expect you and your opponent to play at a pace where both players can make their plays reasonable and finish the game in a regular amount of time. Other tips we have for you include, make sure to never leave your belongings unattended. Remember to check your points after each round to make sure your record was properly recorded. Spectating should be kept to a minimum because we want to make sure players aren't distracted during their matches. But if you do want to watch some games from the event, you can always go to our live stream at twitch.tv slash ARG live. You should make sure to get enough sleep and also make sure you keep yourself nourished by eating and drinking throughout the day to keep your body alert and energized. If you make top 16, you have to be back early Sunday morning to go through a deck check and a player meeting. If you're looking for a specific card or product, you should head on over to the dealer's booths. Only vendors may buy and sell cards between players, and buying or selling cards between players is an offense that may get you ejected from the event as well as banned from future Circuit Series events. And if you have the drop from the main event, that's okay! There's tons of stuff to do at a Circuit Series event! Win a boxes, win a match, win some points! Sundays have $1,000 tournaments! That's insane! But I mean, sure, maybe you don't want to compete. You can still trade, play casually, and just talk to all the other great people at a circuit series and have some fun. Because at the end of the day, let's face it, everyone, we're here to have fun. But don't take my word for it. Why don't you talk to some of the pros who will be coming back again and again and again for all the circuit series. Circuit series are great because it adds extra events in the year, which is awesome. And most of them are like pretty close, uh, so that's why I attend them. Um, but it also gives like the players that are banned, or like I never see how like a second chance, so I get to hang out with some people like that I don't get to see anymore. Um, it's basically just like playing more, which is never bad. You should definitely go. It's amazing. Uh, there's so much coverage. So there's not as much coverage at, like at other events, so this just makes perfect. So you can like, like even if you're not going to the event, you should still check out the stream because like you can just see who's playing, who's doing well. Why do I like attending circuit series? I like the prize support that I haven't won yet, but today is the day. Today is the day. I am going to win. I like seeing all my friends. More events in the year, obviously, that's great. My favorite thing about coming to ARG events is definitely seeing my friends. 
Definitely come out, make new friends. Like, everybody here is friendly. Um, compete, get better. I don't know. It's a ladder. I really like the competition aspect of it. Uh, since it's smaller, like, the good players tend to play against the good players very often. Um, I just think it's a really competitive environment. Really just like a desire to compete with all the other top players uh, and you know just have a lot of fun with uh, your friends for the weekend. I mean like you should definitely go. Um, I, I think it's a lot of fun, it's rewarding and it's definitely worth it. So to plan your next Circuit Series event, simply go onto the Alter Reality Games website and check under the events page. And always remember to play hard or go home.